Hello and welcome back. We are still with the limits and today we will talk about the limits of trigonometric functions. And we have some rules that we must memorize before heading on in this issue. The first thing is the limit of x approaching 0 sine x over x gives us a 1. And the limit of x approaching 0 tan x over x gives us also a 1. And here is a note that x is in radians, not in degrees. Because the radians are small numbers, you can divide it easily here. Alright, this is the rule. Sin x over x gives us a 1, and tan x over x gives us also a 1. So somebody may ask, what about the cosine? If we say the limit of x approaching 0, cosine x over x. Alright, this is undefined because the x here is with a 0 and we can not put the denominator with a 0, so this don't work. But alright, we have the cosine x. The, if we substitute with x equals 0, we have the cosine of 0 to give a 1. So, these were our procedures. And, uh, of course, we will say a hint here. If you have the limit of x approaching 0, sine ax over dx we said just before that sine x over x gives us a 1 so the result of this expression will be a over b because these already equals 1 so these ones are only the left it's the same with the tan if we have tan ax over dx we have the answer A over B. So let's try it. Say that we have the limit of X approaching 0 and we have sine 5X over 3X. So this one would be 5 over 3. A over B. And the sine x goes with the x. If we have the limit of x approaching 0, tan 3x over 5x. So the answer will be 3 over 5. So this is very simple. We could have something that looks like this. Sine 5x over tan 9x, for example. So here we have sine x over tan, tan x. We didn't mention it. Alright, it's very simple. How? We can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x. 1 over x up and 1 over x down. And of course this equals 1, so it didn't affect the rest of our expression. So the limit of x approaching 0 will be sine 5 x over x gives us a 5. And tan 9x over x gives us a 9. 
So it would be a qualifier for nine. So we can easily solve this expression. But don't get surprised when you have a problem with the cosine. Because there are problems that get that way. For example, 4 plus 5x. Over 3 plus cosine x. So what shall we do now? If you have something like this, do not stick with the rule. And just work as you see the problem. We have the limit of x approaching 0. And if I divide here the numerator and the denominator with an x, I'll get an undefined answer because the denominator will have 3 over 0 plus cosine x over x, we get 1 over 0, so that it will be completely wrong. So what should I do? We can substitute directly with the x approaching 0, so we get 4 plus 0 over 3 plus and cosine x equals cosine 0. So cosine 0 gives us a 1 to get a 1, 4 over 4. So it's solved. Far from the rules that we have mentioned. Now, so do not stick with the rules. See the problem. If it can work with the rule, then solve it with it. And if it's not, you can solve it by another way. And substitution is the first method that we mentioned before. And it solves answers now. So, see the problem and trust yourself because the something, some problems seem to be a, lot, a bit tricky. So, you can solve it by substitution, by dividing the numerator and the denominator, by factorization. You can use all the methods to solve the problems. And uh, that was for today. The next time we will talk much about the trigonometric functions, the limits of the trigonometric functions, and until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.